Remember this slide from notes 10? In these results, we saw that the input impedance of a shorted transmission line, ZL is equal to zero, is purely imaginary, and it changes between positive and negative values with distance from the load. In other words, we can select a specific length of a shorted transmission line, and it can give us any inductance or capacitance value we want. Surely we can find a distance here where we can get the exact uh, admittance, the imaginary part of the admittance that we want to cancel. So let's go back to the scenario where we considered the first intersection with the G equal 1 circle. That was the more favorable solution. And that's a distance 0 0.063 lambda from the load. And we needed to cancel a positive J 1.58 in order to match the load. If we use an extra section of shorted transmission line in parallel with the load, the geometry would look like this. We need to figure out what length, L, of transmission line we need in order to cancel this J 1.58. So in other, other words, we can call this a stub. So we want Y stub, as you look this direction down the stub, we want that to equal minus J 1.58. So if you put this, and add it to the positive J 1.58 we have from looking down this way, they will cancel. To determine what length of transmission line would work, we can use a new Smith chart. In this case, let's start by plotting the load impedance of the shorted stub. So in this case, you know, before we plotted the load and then we worked our way back this direction, now we're going to start with a fresh Smith chart. We're going to plot this now load, the load of the stub, and we're going to transform this direction. So we start by plotting the load impedance of the shorted stub, capital ZL equals zero, and normalized it's also equal to zero. Now here's an easy thing to forget. We're dealing with circuit elements in parallel, so we need to make sure we convert to admittances. And so we want to flip through the origin, flip this dot through the origin, which means we would transform it first over to here to get Y stub L. So now we have infinity. Then to see what length L will work, we would need to find a distance from the load at which the admittance, so we want, um, y in for the stub to equal minus j 1.58 in order to cancel the positive j 1.58. Now this is a, a new load for us and so we're moving towards the generator so we're going to be rotating the same direction as before towards the generator and as we move away from the shorted end of the stub the load admittance dot rotates in the clockwise direction along a constant radius from the center. So is there any point on the Smith chart where we can stop and we can say this length of the stub would work so that we can achieve this value for our stub? 